You can sit. <clears throat> so, do you know what we do here? My section? Sir, yes, sir, I have an idea, Whoa, sir. whoa, whoa. Let's say you have no idea and leave it at that, okay? No idea. Zip. None. If you had an idea about what we do, we would not be good at what we do, would we? We would be sloppy. Are you calling us sloppy? Staff Sergeant Dignam has a style of his own. I'm afraid we all have to get used to it. So, you got family connections down in Southie, right? Three father? Why don't you tell us about your Uncle Jackie? He was a carpet layer for Jordan Marsh. Uncle Jackie was a small town clown who attended by the vets in Somerville. He got laughed at because his antics were priceless. Right, we found the balloons at the airport. That's right. I remember his circus. Oh, good. Hilarious. That's right. So. I remember one time he was juggling balls and it was funny and I laughed. I got a question. Happy. How are you? Dude, that maggot uncle of yours, Tommy Costigan's another goof. He gets busted selling lollipops to federal officers, among many, many, many other departures from our normative behavior. And what's this got to do with me, huh? Why are you pretending to be a cop? Sorry, I'm late. Staff Sergeant Dignam is our liaison to the undercover section. His undercover work is extensive. He's here to give us his report, Sergeant Dignam. Okay. My people are out there. Like, Native Americans. You're not going to see him. You're not going to hear about him, except through me or Captain Queenan. You will not ever know the identity of undercover people. Unfortunately, this not good. No, has more white people in the Iraqi Navy. What do you mean? Hey, there are no white people in the Iraqi Navy. How's your mother? Very good. Good. Today, girls. What I have for you is Hello Kitty action figures. Somebody, as you may already know, stole 20 the action figures from the mass Hello Kitty company out on Route 128. These are the kind of figures that little kids really want that could make a little boy happy from a couple hundred miles away. These little pieces of plastic are worth about 100 grand a piece. I get this, we got a guy working for the company two months, walks right out the front door with a box figures. of figures on Tuesday, has a ticket book for Florida on Wednesday, but on Thursday, he gets fired at Toys R Us. You know where that dirtball started his life? Southie Projects. What was his name? Miles Kennefick. Got the job to forge UMass transcript. UMass Boston, which happens to South be South Boston? In. Oh, you're really smart. Sorry, who forged your transcript? Funny guy. Yeah, this guy's, uh, his old man runs the Hibernian liquor mod, Kennefix. We're not here to solve the case of the missing dummy. We're here to nail Costello. All right, look. We got a guy who says he hears Costello's moving the figures to China. He set up a whole job and pop Kennefick. You do not want to miss it if Costello takes a dump. We'd miss a lot less if you made your informants available to us and of course to the Bureau. Without asking for too many details, do you have anyone in with Costello presently? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe. My theory on feds is they're like mushrooms. They're very good on pizzas. Girls have a good day. <laughs> Normally he's a very uh, nice guy. <laughs> and today is no exception.